Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this November 24th as we begin Thanksgiving week. Yes, I can almost smell that turkey cooking in the oven. Oh, my. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. The weather. Wow. Warm weekend. We said it would be. We also said it would be a little bit wet. And also a little bit windy. We're getting the windy part right now. And eventually, those winds are going to usher in more cooler air as we go through the day. So don't get used to these temperatures in the 60s. They're going to go bye-bye for the rest of the work week. Yep. And we have a wind advisory in effect until 6 o'clock this evening for the entire WBKO viewing area. The wind's already howling out there this morning. I'm... Sitting here in the WBKO studios, our first alert storm center, and I'm listening to uh, every once in a while, you can hear the the roof of the station kind of pop and crack, and we've got this, um, used to be, you know, this, the TV station here on Russellville Road in Bowling Green, you may not know this, some of you will remember though, but uh, back in the early 80s, before this was a TV station, it was a car dealership. I think it was like a Volkswagen, BMW, something like that. And um, it, it, where I'm sitting right now, the studio was, was the garage. It was the service, <laughs> the service bay. Uh, I think I'm s- sitting right over the oil pit, the grease pit. Um, but anyway, we have a big garage door back here right next to the weather center. And the wind is hitting that thing, and it's just rattling kind of creepy if this were halloween it'd be weird but anyway so the winds they're gusting already 30 and 40 miles per hour even this morning so if you're out and getting ready for work or the kids uh, if they're still in school and they're not on the break uh you're gonna have to batten down the hatches extra aquanet this morning hairspray or some glue or something to keep your hair from blowing around but seriously Uh, It'll be tough for you to keep both hands on the wheel and keep uh, the car on the road, especially if you're a high-profile vehicle like a tractor-trailer truck or something like that with the winds whipping around as they are. Wind advisory through 6 o'clock this evening. We could find some wind gusts of 45, possibly up to 50 miles per hour. Now, with some uh, loose uh, lawn furniture, trash cans, receptacles, uh, loose tree branches, things like that, Uh, There could be a few power outages even uh, from the winds today, but um, no severe weather in the area. There are a few scattered showers that we're looking at on radar, Doppler Max indicating those up around the Ohio River. Some of them are fairly strong with some lightning and thunder, but nothing severe going on. That's ahead of the cold front that will be passing through later today. And that's when the temperatures will go down and the wind will relax a little bit later on this evening. Looking at the numbers from your Sunday, 63 degrees. Official high temperature for Bowling Green, 56 the average. That's a 7-degree difference, and it felt good. 46 was our low temperature, 35 the average. That's an 11-degree difference. And a year ago, we had a high of 46 and a low of 24 back in 2013. We picked up 44 hundredths of an inch of rain at the Bowling Green Airport yesterday. That brings our November total to 2.29. That's about 84 hundredths of an inch of rain behind where we should be on average. And year to date, we're showing a surplus of two tenths of an inch of rain. So we're pretty much on pace to where we need to be. Today, windy and warm with that wind advisory in effect Scattered showers, perhaps even a thunderstorm this morning, especially along the Ohio River Valley. And uh, then becoming partly sunny by afternoon as temperatures fall from a morning high of 63, which we've already hit. Now the temperatures will begin to fall through the 50s into the 40s by late afternoon. Then becoming partly cloudy, colder tonight with a low of 34. The winds will calm down. For Tuesday, mostly sunny but cooler with a high of 46. Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, we'll see a partly sunny day, 48. But there is a slight chance a little weak disturbance moving in 
may touch off a light rain shower or could end as a few uh, snow flurries mixed in. Not a big deal. This is not going to be an impact issue. It's not going to be a, a, a thing. You know, 48 will be the high. Thanksgiving Day, that disturbance moves on, and we see mostly sunny skies. But a cool day, a high of 44, that's running uh, about 12 degrees below average for this time of the year. But still, a very quiet, just a chilly day. Black Friday, as you get out to shop, mostly sunny and 47. And more of a southerly wind moves in for the weekend, Saturday, Partly sunny, slight chance of a late day shower, 56. Sunday, the last day of November, and my birthday. Oh, did I say that? Oh, yeah, it is. It's my birthday. Uh, 30% chance of a shower and a high at 56. Okay. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you, especially this week, and especially if you're traveling or you've got family coming in, we'll keep you up to date. Uh, Any part of the country that looks like there are going to be potential weather impacts, we will let you know about that. Today's main impact, the wind. Watch out for that. All right, God bless. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com.